In this video, I'm going to review the Nightcore NU33 headlamp. This nice little headlamp has become one of my favorites because it's bright, it has a bunch of features and nice things. At the end of the video, I'm going to share the parts about this headlamp I don't like so it'll help you understand and better make a decision. This headlamp is incredibly easy to use compared to other headlamps. It has a large power button and a mode button. To turn this thing on, you simply press the power button and hold it for about two seconds as the instructions say, and voila, it turns on. To change the mode, you simply press the small button, changing it from the broad LED beam to the night vision or night light red LED, and then switching back to the ultra bright headlamp. You can switch between three different levels of brightness by again tapping the power button, brighter and super bright, and then tap it again to drop it back down. Tapping the mode button switches it again to the broad LED, which is only really good if it's super, super dark. So I tend to ride the broad LED in the brighter mode. And the little uh, red LED has this flashing mode. This headlamp doesn't weigh that much. It is not the heaviest tide lamp, but it, it's not the lightest. So I'm gonna weigh it on my scale here. I'm gonna lock that measurement in. And the headlamp weighs 3.4 ounces or 96 grams for my gram friend. So it's definitely not the lightest, but it is not the heaviest headlamp. So when you put it on your head, it seems like, okay, I'm wearing a headlamp, but it doesn't seem very hot, heavy. So if I jump up and down and wiggle my head, it doesn't really fall around. One nice thing about this headlamp too is it's got this, uh, oh, I put it upside down. <laughs> Easy to do with these things. It has this tilt mode where it can go almost 90 degrees down, which, you know, I guess if you're looking for something you dropped on the floor, it's really nice. According to the instructions, with the main headlamp going at the mid power, it's supposed to last 38 hours. At the high power, it's supposed to last nine hours. At the ultra high power turbo, it's supposed to last four hours. In the ultra low LED mode, the broad one, it's supposed to be 147 hours. And at the low intensity, which is kind of bright, they say 47 hours. My experience has been that these numbers are pretty realistic. You can see the graph here of how it's supposed to drop. And yeah, that's pretty accurate. I found it just gently rolls off in brightness as time goes on. It doesn't keep completely flat in the exposure or the brightness, which is a little bit irritating, but completely expected for this class of headlamp. The headlamp is supposed to be rated to IP66, so it's supposed to be able to handle basic rain and some splashing. But my experience has been in the rainstorm that I was filming in, it seemed to work just fine. So this is a pretty reasonable headlamp. I mean, obviously I'm under a waterfall at this point, but it seems to be ticking along. As far as charging goes, it has this nice indicator on the side. If you just tap the mode button, you can see that it has four indicators for charging. The unit that comes in this very nice box, it's a 700 lumen, so it's super, super bright. Comes with a USB-A for the charging side and a USB-C for the actual charging on the body. So it's really nice that they've switched to USB-C since everyone's going to go to that. Plugs in and works very well. For charging, the charging indicator works just fine. When I plugged it in, you can see that the blue LEDs march up and down. That way you can indicate charging from completely dead to completely charged. It's something like two hours, so it's very reasonable. So it's a very simple charging kit. By the way, it does not come with a charging brick. It only comes with the USB-A to USB-C charging cable. So that's a consideration as well for you. Uh, other than that, I mean, it has very basic instructions. You do not need to know Morse code to know this thing. Uh, one thing I did notice, it does have the lock mode, so you can press and hold, and eventually it does this flashy, flashy thing, and it goes into lock mode, so you can't just accidentally turn it on. You press it to lock mode again, and then eventually it gets around to turning on and off. 
Now I'm going to show you the lumination pattern of the lamp to see what it looks like. All right, I've got the headlamp on. I'm going to turn this thing on. It's blasting bright as you can see. You can see the pattern here on the wall. Of course, this is digital, so it's a little bit shanky on the camera, but it actually has a very nice roll off. It has a good central spot. The spot is super uniform, so that is really nice. If I crank up the brightness and crank up the brightness again, it's crazy bright. That 700 lumens is way brighter than my other headlamps. It's very impressive. If I change the mode, you can see here that it actually has a very nice uniform field. And if I go to the higher brightness level, it works quite well. If I change the mode again to this little red spotlight, it's actually pretty darn impressive how bright it is. Woo! Boy, so actually for night vision, it's quite impressive. It does have that uh, blinky flashy mode. That is the one thing that uh, I have a little bit of trouble getting into. I don't know, it's a little bit challenging there, but I don't really care about the blinky flashy mode, so that's not that big a deal. So as you can see, let's see if I can, uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, blinky flashy, shut that off and then turn it on. I'm gonna blind myself. So for video at night, I would definitely use the brighter mode or the broad spectrum. I can't even see at the moment because I'm blinded. But as you can see here, it actually has a very nice pattern to it. Now some of the downsides that I don't like about this headlamp. The two biggest things that I don't like about the headlamp is the light color is a little bit yellow. It's more of a traditional white LED sort of color where it's a little bit yellowish. It's not quite green, so that's actually good, but it's a little bit warmer, which actually at night is not as blinding as a super hard white, like a 6500K LED. So actually, even though I don't like the yellowish light compared to the white light, for the nighttime activities, it's actually kind of nice, so a good and a bad. The other thing that I don't like it, like every other headlamp has a problem, is this hard back. Actually, after over time, kind of pressing against your head is a little bit annoying, but I have that problem with every headlamp, so it's really not that big a deal. And you can see here, it's got instructions that explain everything. I mean, it, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is one of the easiest headlamps I've had to use. The other thing that I don't like is when I power it on, it always comes in this mid or the low power spotlight. So if I switch it to the broad, shut it off, turn it back on, it switches again to the spotlight. So that's one thing that I wish this headlamp did is that it would come back to the mode that I left it in before. So that does set me up for some clicking and futzing around, especially if I'm in a tent at night and I shut it off, turn it back on, I've got to mess around it again. So a definite upgrade would be super nice is to have it remember the last mode that I was in. That's a trade-off, that's my personal opinion, just for efficiency and messing around. Other than that, it's been a really good headlamp. I've tried it hiking, camping, uh, what else? Oh, uh, raking the leaves at night, messing around at, in the house, in the basement. It's actually been pretty, pretty handy. So, would I recommend this Nightcore NU33 headlamp? Yes, I definitely do. I've enjoyed it. It's actually replaced a couple of my other headlamps because the other headlamps have to have tap, 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 and tap this and press and hold. This is actually much easier to use because when I'm out camping in high altitude or whatever, my brain's not working as well. And wait, what was that mode again? So having a simpler headlamp with two press buttons is actually much, much nicer to use. My name's Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to this NU33 headlamp from Nightcore. It's super nice. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info like this.